Today we're looking at the all new, fully redesigned 15 ounce stiletto, tie bone, milled faced, curved handle, all titanium hammer. And one thing that remains the same is that it's made in the USA. This hammer is just launching right now and it's available to order online. So what we're gonna do in this video, we're going to look at all the features of this. We're gonna put it to the test because if you're looking at a titanium hammer, it is an investment. So my goal of this video is to help you decide if this is right for you. So let's get started. So here's another stiletto hammer that I've had on my channel a little over a year ago. This is the Mini 14. It's really worked great. I just love all the features on it. The one thing that I've heard some people say is that they wish that the grip could be replaced. So this is the thing, you can't do it yourself, but you can actually send it into stiletto and they will replace it for you. But then you have to use another hammer during that time. The nice thing with the new hammer and all the designs that they put into this, you can see this sticker on here, it has a replaceable grip. And I'm gonna show you how that works and all the different color choices that you have coming up soon. So we'll just go ahead and take that sticker off right now. So on the old grip right here, you can see what the end looks like. On the new one right here, there is a little bolt in there, a hex bolt that you can remove. And I'll show you how that works pretty soon. Then on all their hammers, you have the choice of the milled face like this, or the smooth face. So nice thing with titanium, it's gonna be lighter than a steel hammer. When you're swinging your hammer all day, you don't get that vibration. There is a thing, I believe they call it like a carpenter's elbow or something. There's some, over time, a steel hammer is gonna cause some damage just from all that vibration. And if you invest in a titanium hammer, it's gonna be quite a bit less. I know on this hammer right here, they advertise 10X. So here's an old hammer that I've had for a long time, this S-Wing right here, I used it many years ago. This grip right here is completely hardened, it's very smooth. It'd be nice to be able to replace it, but you can't. So let's see what this right here weighs in it. Two pounds, 3.6 ounces. The tie bone, one pound, 15.6 ounces. So yes, definitely lighter. You can just, it's amazing, when you hold these two side by side, you can feel it. If you look at the two, there's just a little more length, probably about an inch and a half or so on the stiletto, and yet it's lighter. So we're gonna do some hammering over here in a two by four. So if I wanna use the nail starter right here, I have two different 16 penny nails right here. This one's a coated sinker. So if you can see how that looks, it just goes in there nice and easy. This is a 16 standard penny nail. And then the smallest nail, this one has a little bend to it. This is a eight penny nail right here. So you can see how that looks. So it just sticks out a little bit. All right, let's try hammering that in a minute. Okay, the eight penny nail. All right, let's say I wanna remove that. You can use the claws. Sometimes the claws, it really takes a lot of power. So the side nail puller right here, just slide that in there and just easily pull it out like that, effortless. So you haven't ever tried a side nail puller on a hammer, it's awesome. Here's a basic 16D nail. Coated sinker. All right, let's try one with the nail starter. Three strikes, it's in. Here's what's nice about having that magnetic nail starter right there. I believe that's a rare earth magnet, so the nail's definitely not going anywhere. So let's say you're trying to nail something up high, you don't wanna get your ladder out, and you can't really hold it too high with your other hand, so you can reach a little bit higher and stretch, and you can start it with that and nail it in. So sometimes that's just an advantage to help get you through some of those high reach places. So you're gonna see a lot of framers that have that milled face or waffle design right there. So one of the things I've heard people say is if they're holding the nail and they're not like, you know, wearing any kind of gloves or anything like that, a lot of times this can really do some damage to your fingernail in case you miss once in a while. So I know some people will go to smooth face, but most framers I think doing rough carpentry, they're gonna have this milled face right here. So nice thing if you get this hammer right here with the milled face, you can always switch it out. So just that steel part right there, 
to a smooth one, which I'll show you how easy that is in just a few minutes. So the nice thing with this hammer has a straight claw design. So if you need to do some prying, you don't have to worry about breaking this. This has gone through extensive testing and this will hold up. So let's go find a pallet or something around here that we can do some prying on. So right here is a handy accessory that Stiletto offers for this hammer right here. This is a non-marring, quick removal, hard mallet cap. So I'll show you how this works. So you just easily slide this on. You can see right up top there, there's a little groove that goes right where the nail starter's at. Just push it on like that. So this is a great way to do some finished type carpentry where you're not going to mar up the wood. Let's head over to my shed. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So this shed right here is gonna need a little bit of work done to it next spring, like some painting and some other upkeep. So if I need to put some more nails in here, I'll have this mallet cap right here. So let's just say I wanna hit on this fascia board right here. I don't wanna use the mill design hammering that in. And if I don't wanna switch and grab a different hammer, you just put that mallet cap on. And then like right here's a nail. I can just pound that in like that. Same with right here is a nail. And you don't see, it didn't mar the wood, didn't do anything. And then when I'm done with it, and want to go back to some regular framing, just take that cap off and then put it back in my bag right here. So I mentioned that this new stiletto hammer right here has some advantages over the one that I reviewed a little over a year ago. So just to tell you how many advantages there are, let's take a look at their website to find out more. So here on their website, if we search the all titanium series hammers, they introduced five new ones in the 14 and 15 ounce sizes. And then if we click on their video right here, we'll see that some of the upgrades include 20 design advancements, which have gone through over 40 stress tests, and it's had 1,100 hours of testing, including a pry bar test and a strike test. So you know if you get this hammer right here, it's going to hold up to all different job site requirements. You can strike all kinds of things, and it's definitely going to hold up. If by chance over time that you need to switch out the faceplate right here, let's say the mill design wears down, maybe you've hit some things that you shouldn't have, maybe let somebody borrow it, they don't really know how to properly use this, then you can easily replace it. So we're gonna take a look right now. I happen to have the smooth replacement face right here that we're gonna put on here. We're gonna see what it takes to replace it and how difficult it is. So this one right here is a different bolt. It requires a T45, a Torx. So I have this right here, the T handle. And I read the instructions that said that you may need to use an impact driver to loosen it. But they said when you go to tighten it, to do it by hand. Don't use a impact wrench. So I did all I could do to try to loosen it with this right here. And I felt like this was going to snap inside there. I didn't want to break this, even though it has a lifetime warranty. So I decided to pick up this right here, this socket T45. So I ordered this from Home Depot. Took about two days to get here. And now let's see how this works for the first time in the, loosening that. So right here, the Milwaukee 3 8 right angle impact wrench. We're gonna try this out. This isn't the most powerful one that I have, but I always am impressed with the power this has. So let's see what it can do. That was speed number three. That would not loosen it, man. That thing is in there tight. All right, so let's try the M12 Surge. Boy, that is really in there. All right, we gotta go to the big one. All right, so things are getting pretty serious around here. We're going with the half inch impact wrench. I don't have a smaller in-between size, so we're gonna have to go with this right here. You know, this thing is really awesome. I just can't believe the power that it has. I'll tell you what, from the factory, this thing is really on there tight. So we can see with this semi star type design, when you put that in there, it's not going to rotate too much, just enough that you can properly line it up. So if I wanna switch out to the smooth face one right there, just go ahead, put that in there, and then you can have yourself a smooth face hammer. 
So on the new hammer right here, if you look at the magnetic nail starter, you'll see how it compares to the other one. So this is definitely deeper in there. It holds the nail more secure. So another thing, if you look at this, I believe the rare earth magnet on this one right here is reinforced better than this one right here. So that's another design improvement that I'm noticing. So one of the upgrades I think people are most excited about is that they can replace the grip right there on the job site. So you have your choice of six different colors. So if you want to customize it to your own liking, you can do that. So let's take a look at what it takes to switch this out. So right here at the end of the handle, it's a Torx T25 bolt. We're gonna loosen that, take it out. So I've seen a demonstration by Stiletto and they recommend taking a utility knife and cutting both sides right there. And then it'll just, the grip will pull right off. All right, so here's my question to you. If you end up buying this hammer right here and you went to customize the grip, which of the six colors would you go with to customize it to your liking? Would you go with the black? Or would you choose the green one? Would you choose the yellow one? How about the orange one? Or maybe the pink one? Or else? The blue one so please put your comment down below I'd like to hear what color you would go ahead and customize your hammer with so here's one last look at all your color choices so if you're interested in finding out more about this hammer right here i will drop a link down below to the home depot so the price on this is 250 i did check another place so it was 299 so home depot right now has the lowest price so yeah, right now there's no reviews on it, but you can also go back, depending on when you're watching this video, see what other people think about this. So far, what I'm noticing is with all the design changes that they made and the replaceable grip, which is huge, and the improved nail starter, that this right here is gonna be the one to get right here. So I have a short little playlist for you right up here if you wanna see some other Stiletto products like some of their squares or carpenter squares and their other hammer I did a review on so you can keep watching and check that out. If you wanna to subscribe to my channel to see some other tool reviews and some upcoming ones right there is where you can click on that. So that's it for now friends, thanks for watching. See you next time.